Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Sondering Tarot if you're new here. Hi, hello and welcome. This is your daily tarot reading for the 9th of October 2024. The deck we'll be using of course is listed in the description box down below as always. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what's going on for you. All right, my lovelies, I am back. We have two aces on the table, six major arcanas, um, and we have one synchronicity showing up for you. We have seven, 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 um, and we had that the other day, actually. So the fact that it's reoccurring again, and it tends to be a lucky number, um, is quite interesting. We'll see how many days we have that. But anyway, the best part of your day, we start off with the nine of swords in the reverse, the eight of wands in the reverse, the Six of Swords, the Four of Wands in the reverse, the Two of Cups in the reverse, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, well this is interesting nothing to worry about we're moving on but things are going slow um you might not perceive it that way you might just think things are falling apart disconnected we're not moving forward physically um but this seems to be a day where the biggest progress the biggest movement is actually with our emotions our intuition and dare I say, because we do have the uh, lovely Queen of Cups here, our spirituality, our spiritual side. So when we say progress, we mean uh, and moving forward, getting things done, being proactive, uh, you know, that type of movement, physical movement. Uh, that doesn't seem to really be what's on the table for today. Is there a type of movement? Yes. Um, it's just not a type of movement that you can probably see um, feel, touch with, you know, the 3D body, um, <laughs> if I can word it that way. <sighs> okay. Makes me think that today is going to be a day where if you're doing something physical, you have hunches, you have nudges with your intuition, pay attention to those, um, because that's going to be your guidepost for what you physically can do. Um, Otherwise, for the most part, we're, we're stepping back. We're going within instead of without. All right. The worst part of your day is the magician in the reverse. <laughs> the king of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. A whole lot of not much going on physically. The 3D mundane world. Um, getting things done. Pro being progressive. That physical movement. Yeah. Not happening so much. So, for us that have a to-do list, which I always do, um, this is probably not the day that that's going to happen very well. Now, a lot of us probably dislike that. I know I usually do. Um, so yeah, some of you may not be a happy camper about that part, but our obstacle or how to get over, our obstacle or how to get over our obstacle, we start off with the justice in the reverse, judgment in the reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I will explain why I'm chuckling in just a bit. The Seven of Wands. Chariot in the reverse. Star in the reverse. The Ace of Swords in the reverse. The Seven of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles in the reverse. The Page of Wands in the reverse. The Nine of Pentacles. The Four of Cups. The Ten of Cups in the reverse. And we end on the High Priestess. Okay, yeah. First three cards out. Justice in the reverse, Judgment in the reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. It is not meant for you to physically get things done. It's not in the cards. It's not there. <laughs> now, that doesn't mean that you won't try. <laughs> um, and, you know, uh, 
and unfortunately not get the movement despite whatever you know sure force of will that you know stubbornness <sighs> not for the lack of trying let's put it that way <laughs> Uh, that's yeah you're gonna discover that you're gonna end up draining a lot of your energy um, struggling with that <laughs> very much so um, especially considering you're not actually seeing <laughs> where it is you probably need to invest your energy yeah, it's not in the physical. Physical is out of whack and isn't going to help you when it comes to the forward momentum that you're wanting to orchestrate. It's actually better when it comes to investing your energy is to sit there and meditate. Think about it, go within. Find out what's wrong. <laughs> you know, search for answers. Touch base with your inner self, your higher self, your spirit team. <laughs> there, there's more here when it comes to the spiritual realm that's available for you today. And apparently that is your <laughs> Guiding light. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, today's not about the physical realm. It's about the spiritual one. It's about your instincts, your intuition, your gut, your higher self. Mm. I'm half tempted to pull another card on whether or not uh, the collective is overall energy of being all work and no play, hence the retreat inward. But I apologize if you hear my dog um, <laughs> barking his head off upstairs. Anyway, we will look at our uh, astrology to see what placements are there. Uh, we do have a retrograde planet for today and I think in a couple days we also have one that's been in retrograde going back direct so the energies are a little um, all over the place because of that even though the pre and post shadows of two transitioning major planets are going to overlap here it still has a an effect and in which case grounding is very important <laughs> um, as energies swirl and transition like that, a lot of times being grounded and being stable is more important. In this case, here we are, we're being asked to retreat and go inward, and that might actually be the source as to why. Now, I did add up all your cards here. Um, all your cards add up to 149, which ultimately reduces to 5, which usually is, uh, in the numerology chart I use now, um, is movement physical movement or actual movement in this case are you actually moving yes you are moving in the spiritual realm um, you are using your intuition or learning how to utilize that if you are um, not already attuned to that now are you physically moving no like I said it feels like you're moving um, in a way that the physical body does not see, feel, or um, usually uses their senses for. Um, you're using your sixth sense, your spirituality, your spirit side, um, also known as the first brain, <laughs> your gut. Hmm, interesting. But the astrology, the uh, Pluto, or not Pluto, uh, Pluto is the one that's going direct in a few days. Uh, Jupiter retrograde starts, so uh, this is a time where opportunities, uh, they're slow, but they don't totally all disappear. Just want to point that out. However, this is also time for you to strengthen your intuition, up your spiritual connection. Why? Because when you're not physically busy as much, well, uh, 
it's easier to go within. In this case, they're telling you to go within. Um, this is where you work through subconscious baggage, trauma, you know, all that stuff that piles up in the background that the physical 3D world tends to keep us busy and away from. And this is one of the reasons why this particular retrograde is actually beneficial. Sorry, but true. <laughs> This is how you get attuned to yourself, your spirit team, uh, you know, your inner self. Uh, the moon also enters Capricorn. Now, this helps you focus on managing your responsibilities, the obligations that you usually have. Uh, and in a way, it does give you more leeway, more space to do you, <laughs> your own thing, whatever that is for you. Um, so... Yes, we are very much picking up on that retrograde energy. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here for you. And if it resonates, by all means, give me a thumbs up. If it does not, no worries. It is a general reading after all. So please take what resonates. Leave the rest. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.